Hey guys, Tracy with uh, World War One Games, and uh, back again. So let's see, what should we start out with? Um, let's uh, do some updates on shop small exclusives. So we'll start with Modern Pinup. Okay, so Modern Pinup has a new um, Star Wars one. It's Grogu. Now that we know not to call him Baby Yoda anymore. Um, and so I have a picture. So this is it. Ah, sorry. That's it. Um, it it kind of looks like the ones that they have at Box Lunch. Only, um, I think the outfit has more texture. Um, and so that one is retailing at $80. And they still have several available. So um, if you're a big Star Wars collector or just a Mandalorian collector... Um, you know, slide on over to Modern Pinup and grab that while they still have them. And then, of course, like I said before, they still have Chip and Dale. So if you have not seen the mock-up drawing of Chip and Dale, because um, the one of Grogu, that's actually, um, that's a live picture. So, but um, Chip and Dale, we still don't have a live picture, but here is the, the mock-up drawing, if you haven't seen it. Um, uh, so it's just an all-over print of Chip and Dale um, chasing um, acorns. So, and that one is retailing at 70 So, um, and there are still some available. So, snap on over. Snag one. And then, of course, like I said before, they do still have some of their all-over print uh, cat, Disney cats and Disney dogs. So, I am going to show you the images for both the Disney cats um, and Disney dogs. These are the ones that the, I guess, you use the placement might matter. So, here's the Disney cats. Swipe. Disney dogs. So, um, I guess for me, the color is going to mean the Disney dogs is going to look better. Uh, but placement, um, I guess uh, it's going to be the Disney cats, just because I'm, um, I'm a big Cheshire cat. You know, fan. So, um, and that's Modern Pinup, and both of those are retailing at $70, and they have plenty left available. Um, so, you know, let's definitely get out there and support our shop smalls. If you're a collector and you collect all the bags, then you definitely um, want to, uh, you know, snap those up. So, let's see. Next, we have Grotto Treasures. Grotto Treasures. Okay, so, um, the... First two we're going to talk about uh, are obviously already sold out, but I did hear that um, this Saturday they are going to have a very small amount of the Bambi vintage prints available um, at the same time as their newest release. So 6 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time, so you will have to be very fast to snap those up, but I do have a live photo of the Bambi vintage print. So here it is. It's gorgeous, guys. I can't wait. I got mine, so I'm excited uh, for those to ship out. So there it is. That's what it looks like. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, so that's the uh, Bambi vintage print, um, and it retails at 75. So like I said, there's going to be a tiny amount available this Saturday at 6 p.m. That's Pacific Standard Time. So you're going to want to log in very quickly, check out as fast as you can, so that you can snap that up. Otherwise, you will miss out on it. Um, and these are going to be limited numbers, so they're not going to be, re to my understanding, they will not be reprinting um, anymore. So, um, you know, you want to be very quick about it. So next, uh, uh, again, is going to be Peter Pan. This one is sold out, and I do not believe there are going to be any more available. It did also retail at 75 but again, it's sold out. But I do have a live photo, and um, I got this one too. Ha ha ha. Love it. <laughs> Uh, now I'm just going to be um, on the hunt for a keychain to match these bags. Um, I have yet to see anything um, like a, and I know they've made Bambi keychains, but you know, I'm looking for something more of the 3D, like in the, like the pop type uh, keychain, uh, when I say bag charm type thing, that's, that's what I'm looking for. But if you see anything, guys, drop it in the comments because you know I'm looking, I'm always on the hunt. So, and then, um. Uh, let me see if I have a photo. I gotta check in here. I gotta check in here. I think one of my gals may have sent one to me in the con. Aha, yep, message. 
So the last one for Grotto Treasures currently is going to be the Mandalorian Vintage Print, which is going to be available this Saturday, 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 Saturday at, that's January 30th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And here is the, um, the live photo, actually. Um, and it is uh, featuring um, that uh, assassin droid, the Mandalorian, um, and Grogu, and I can't forget remember the girl's name. I want to say it's like Kano or something like that. I know one of you will correct me, but here it is. Um, I love these vintage prints. Um, they are very uh, eclectic, and um, they are they take us back to you know Loungefly in its beginning uh, stages. Uh, you know, the early days before Funko purchased them. So uh, I'm really excited for this one. Um, I really, really love uh, the vintage print. You know, it's it, it's very classy. Um, I know that everybody's worried about the white. The white. Never fear because um, one of our great ladies in the um, Launchfly groups and the Facebook, she did a fabulous video um, talking about how to clean your bags. Um, and she is absolutely right. So she has some great tips in there. So if you haven't checked out her video, I'm going to highlight some of the things that she mentioned. I have mentioned some of them in previous videos. Um, so we will be talking about that later on. So um, next we're going to continue with our um, exclusive updates. So next is going to be the My Awesome Collectibles. Now I don't, I've never purchased from them, um, but I am looking forward to it because it's a Pixar bag from my understanding. We have not seen um, like a clear image. They're just doing like a blurred thing. So if you go and check their Instagram account, um, they are showing like a blurred image. But next week they will be reviewing their Pixar themed um, exclusive. So check that out. And I think that might be the last one. Maybe, maybe. Let me check. I'm checking the list. Checking the list. You know, kind of like how Santa Claus does, checking it once, checking it twice. Oh, no, no, I'm wrong. Haha, <laughs> pink all mode, pink all mode. Um, I think this is the first time we've mentioned pink all mode on here. So, pink all mode still has their Nightmare Before Christmas Love is Eternal um, all over print. It's retelling at $69.99. Um, I do not have an image for it, but I know it's up on their site. It's not sold out. Um, uh, it, it's it's a very interesting print, um, so check it out. They also have the Little Mermaid, little, 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 sorry, Little Mermaid Under the Sea print. It retailed at seventy dollars. It was only one through six hundred, so of course it is already sold out. Sorry guys, and I actually think that one looks really good. I missed it because I didn't even know about it. Um, and technically, um, the words we should be using is vaulted. It's vaulted. One of uh, Funko's favorite words to use. So vaulted, ladies and gentlemen, that one is vaulted. But you can still slip on over to their website, check out what it looks like, because it is a very beautiful bag. And if you missed out, I do believe that people are already, um, you know, doing the reseller thing with that bag. So check it out. Um, and then, of course, we do know that um, launchlight.com, if you are... Uh, literally stalking their um, Instagram page like I am. They do have the uh, cupcake backpack that should be coming out uh, any week now because they said in the next couple of weeks uh, and that's going to be exclusive and again it's going to be a limited number of bags. My curiosity is it is it going to have that tag uh, that they normally do with something that's limited edition it says limited edition um, and then of course do uh, uh, Dopey sorry Dopey not Dobby Dopey I've got Dobby on the brain. My friend was asking me, is there going to be a Dobby bag in the March coming up? And I'm like, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. A couple more days. Pre-sales, pre-sales. Just kind of throwing that out there. Um, so Dopey, Dopey is going to be a loungefly.com exclusive. Um, and again, same question. Is it going to have a limited edition tag? Um, cause collectors like me, we love those. We absolutely love it when it says limited edition. Um, and of course I am waiting for my black and white polka dot mini mouse bag to come. Cause again, I'm curious, is it going to say limited edition? So, um, and that is all I have for our shop smalls, but, um, keep checking back cause, um, you know, literally like every week we are hearing new limited editions, new exclusives. Um, we get really excited when we hear this kind of stuff because, um, you know, it's exciting. It's really exciting. 
Uh, we have Funko Fair still going on. If you guys haven't checked it out, there's some great pops uh, coming out. In fact, I do have some for you guys today. Actually, they're pop keychains. We got them in already. Ah, and I'm excited because they're Star Wars. So um, I already took like the keychain portion off because you know I like to put these on my bags. But first, we have Princess Leia with her little buns. With her little buns. Check out those cool little buns. <laughs> um, I do. I, I actually like the hairstyle with the little buns. I've done that before. Um, so yeah, Princess Leia. She is going on one of my new Star Wars bags. Yay! And then Han Solo. 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 And I am actually saving Han Solo because I am on the hunt, ladies, gentlemen. If you're not listening, please do. I am looking for the Han Solo movie Han Solo bag that was a Disney Park bag. It has like the little, they look like kind of triangle uh, emblems all over. Um, so if you see it, let me see, do I have a picture? Let me check. Let me check. Because I am, I'm on the hunt for this one. It's like a, you know, it's like a grail sort of thing, but kind of not really sort of. I mean, it is. You know, I need it for my collection. You know, you guys know how I am. I, I, I need to complete. Complete. Uh, so I really do. I want this bag. And I have been hunting. But you know I'm also a massive cheapskate. So I'm also not willing to pay like a ridiculous price for it. Um, but that's what I'm saving that keychain for is the solo bag. And I'm not seeing a picture saved. Nope, I'm not. I know I have one here, but it's like I don't want to don't want to keep you guys on the line. Anyhow, so moving on. I'll find it and post it in the comments. Um, then Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Gotta love Boba Fett. And I love how they like see they have the little detail right there. His little thing that goes pew 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 pew. Yep, love it. So um those are my uh three uh, pop keychains that I have acquired and I believe we're actually getting some more in stock today in our big Funko Pop shipment. So um, if you don't follow our Instagram or our Facebook, you should because uh, lots of new stuff coming in every day including our new um, Star Wars uh, Japanese poster t-shirts. Awesome. So um, those are the Funko Pop keychains and then I wanted to share these with you because they did come in and um, they're not uh, new, uh, but they are from before Funko purchased Lounge Fly, so I was really excited. So, you know, I told you before I love the um, the coin bags, and it's Star Wars. And it has the horn. Excellent condition. Love these. Um, and also, uh, there is room for me to put a keychain on it, and you know I will. <laughs> so, and then this one, it was new. So, I mean, I did open it. So, and again, it's pretty Funko, so super excited. Um, I'm trying to get all of the Star Wars ones. Um, so, on the hunt, always on the hunt. So, moving on, I do have some bags. Uh, remember, I've been promising to show you guys um, my Vader all over print. Um, this one was from... Modern pinup, yes, yes, modern pinup. So thank you, modern pinup, as always, been coming through for me a lot lately. So here it is, and of course I was very happy with the placement. Um, and I know that a lot of people were nervous about placement. They're like, oh my god, please don't let me get lots of cut off head Vaders. So as you can see, I have plenty of Vader. I'm so happy. He looks great, and um, of course in the back, always there's. Perfect placement in the back, always. You know, it's hard to mess that one up. But no, I mean, literally, Vader's perfect all the way around. Um, and so he came out really well. So I'm just waiting for the new pop keychain to come in so that, um, you know, that I can uh, get him for my bag. So let's check out the liner. Um, it is plain black, which is fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um, I can live with that. I can live with that. So... There he is, all over print and all of his gorgeousness, as promised. Um, and then uh, from our January catalog, 
Um, we have the Robin Hood bag. And so it's a very cute bag. I do love the color. Uh, it's a teal. Uh, and it's the tent scene where Robin Hood is swinging over Ma with Maid Marian. So this is the swinging portion. Now I'm a little nervous about this because this can easily be torn off. So this is my only concern with this bag. Um, it, it, it's just, um, I feel like there should have been like some Velcro on the back just so that we can secure this so that it does not get ripped off. So that's my only concern with the bag. Okay, and then you, know, you guys know how I feel about these. Uh, this loop is just not conducive to hanging on the wall. So, but I do love the color contrast with the, the light teal and the dark teal. So this is not all the same color. So I do love that. And then of course the snake with his, you know, his spinning tail on the back. So that's, again, that's really nice. Love that. And then let's check out the uh, the lining because we know how important custom lining is. Oh, it's very cute. Oh, it, again, it's the snake with the spinning tail with his head in the balloon. See, it's very cute. I do love that. Um, every little detail helps. Of course, it has the zipper pocket on the inside. And on the side, there is the metal tag as always. Um, but of course, faux pocket, I'm just not a fan of that. Um, I, I feel like you're taking away something from me when you remove the pocket. So, um, like I said, there's only uh, a couple of things that, you know, I'm not a fan of on the bag. It's our faux pocket. Uh, I feel like this should have been secured better. Um, and then I prefer the, the normal loop. Um, but uh, other than that, it's a very, very beautiful bag. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. The detail, the print, the stitching, I mean, everything is absolutely fabulous. Um, it definitely does Robin Hood justice. I mean, the colors are just phenomenal. So, thank you, thank you. And then I wanted to um, show off my Daniel Nicole Poo bags. So, I might have already shown the backpack by itself, but when, the, when I got the handbag with my box lunch money, um, I wanted to show them together. So here they are in all of their gorgeousness. See, you cannot have, oops, that's the back. <laughs> you can't have one without the other. It's a matching collection, you know? Um, the backpack is incredibly beautiful. I mean, look at that print. It is so pretty. I mean, honestly, if you didn't know, you would think this might be a, you know, a lounge fly bag. I mean, really, I mean, it's, it's got some really incredible print. It's got debossing. I mean, it's very, very pretty. Now, when you turn it around and you see the straps and the loop, you know it's not lounge play. It's, I can always tell. There's just subtle diff you know, differences that just let you know that it's just not. And, of course, the zipper. And there's just certain design differences that they go with. So, but um, that's how you really, really, really know that something is one designer over another. There's just subtle differences that they, they make in their bags. But, you know, the, the print, it, it, it could easily, you know, it could it follow suit with the, their direction. I mean, it's just so adorable. But um, we don't even really need to look inside because we know Danielle Nicole doesn't do a custom print uh, the way Lounge Light does. It's just going to be her standard Danielle Nicole on the inside. But what I really love, what I really, really, really love is the handbag. The balloons do it for me. They absolutely do it for me on this bag. I, I just couldn't walk away. I absolutely love this bag. I mean, it's just phenomenal. I mean, look, it's so cute. So um, I am looking forward to getting, you know, an outfit to go with it. So if you look in the back, it does have this really cute zipper. So there's some extra functionality that, you know, I love. And then the balloons and on the inside there's an additional strap for you know your more crossbodiness. So I mean it just has lots of functionality and it's just absolutely adorable fashion function and you know how I feel about Pooh. It's just in my heart. Pooh is in my heart. I mean I identify as Eeyore. I'm just saying I just totally identify as Eeyore. But I mean the Pooh characters, I mean, it's, it's a childhood memory that no one forgets. It really is. I know that everyone, at some point in their life when they were little, uh, they, uh, you know, they watched Winnie the Pooh and they really identified with that. So, um, 
I just thought when I saw those, I was like, I got to have all of it. So, all right. So we've talked about our exclusives. We talked about um, our pop keychains. We covered a little bit about Funko Fair. Um, just remember that um, to uh, follow them on Instagram because there are different exclusives for Funko Fair. Uh, and then there's just the standard core line that you can purchase anywhere. Roll on games, we got to you. Um, but again, there's always exclusives that you want to uh, make sure that you don't miss them. My friend Amanda Brown, she is a big TLC fan. You should have seen her. She was like stalking just so she can get those TLC exclusives and the, the chases. So um, you you really just have to be on the you know the lookout, and uh, you don't want to miss it. Okay, so you to keep your eyes open, keep them peeled. And, um, oh, just kind of a, a hint for the next video. We are going to talk about how to stack your coupons for hot cash and box lunch money um, and how to use additional discounts in store with, um, with the, the box lunch money, okay? So you got to stay tuned. You got to come back and check it out. That way next time that box lunch money is in use, you're ready and waiting, okay? So um, you got to know all the tricks and tips, okay? And, oh, one more thing. I was going to show you the um, the cleaning supplies that our friend from the group talked about. Because you want to make sure that you have the right thing to clean your bags. Okay, so it's called the pink stuff. The pink stuff. And it comes in a pink tub like this. But just recently, they released a new one. And it comes in a spray bottle like this. Okay, so in case you missed our video, the pink stuff, okay? So, the pink stuff. You don't want to miss it. So, next video, box lunch money, hot cash. How you get all those extra discounts, how to stack your coupons, um, and any other discounts. All right, guys? So, see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. This is Tracy with World One Games. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and see you next time.